So I'm going to go back into the same position as the V-hole. Remember, okay, so we're just going to lean back to about this motion. Nice and straight, just like a ruler. Good. We're going to keep the neck right about five flexion, uh, flexion a little bit more. Or, uh, forward a little bit more, right? Right about there. Okay, so the neck stays at that angle. Okay, so just a little bit of flexion, which is basically right about there. You see, no more than four to five degrees. Okay, for the knees, we stay about this range right here. Go for it. All right, bend the knees a little more. Bend the knees. That's good. All right, bend, bend. Both your feet off the floor. Bend. Just gotta stay right here. There you go. That's right about. Yeah, that's good. So this is giving me about a 70 degree angle, right? I'm going to stay at 70 degrees. I'm going to keep the elbows nice and straight. The foot, we're going to keep it all the way nice and flex. Right about there. That's it. And you want to keep both of your feet. You're going to keep both of your feet. One foot the center. The second and third toe lined up at the center of the kneecap. The center of the kneecap lined up with the AC joint, which is right in the center. Elbows nice and straight, straight line on the elbows and the shoulders. You're going to squeeze the ball nice and tight so you can activate internal rotators. And then you're just going to twist the torso all the way, right about there. And if, when you twist, hold it, you want to feel the stretch and emphasize and, uh, stretching the extensors of the elevator scapula and twist. Uh, in the beginning, this is what you'll see. Keep, go ahead, keep twisting, keep twisting. A lot of people will do this. The hip will rotate side to side. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see the hip rotating side to side. But remember, you want to keep the hip flexors nice and tight, stable, without twisting the lower extremity and just emphasizing the upper extremity without compensating on the lower extremity. Now, in the beginning, if your hip flexors are super tight, you're going to feel pain on the hip right in the, around this area. Eventually that goes away as you continue doing the other exercises which are known as the uh, functional warm-up. That'll loosen up the hip flexor 